Dual screen setups are super useful, both for emulating dual screen consoles, how they were meant to be displayed, and for general multitasking. While connecting a Steam Deck to an external monitor, just in general, is fairly easy to do, doing so while playing handheld can be a bit cumbersome and often requires some sort of tether to a much larger display. That can be a bit of a hassle while traveling or simply wanting to play in more locations in the house. After all, I bought a portable console. Why would I always want to sit at my desk to play my favorite games? That's why a while back, I started to consider if I could construct something with off-the-shelf parts that would be relatively easy to obtain, require no specialized modification, and allow me to get up and running with a game without a ton of extra setup. After a ton of tinkering, I settled on this rig that allows me to use the phone in my pocket as a second monitor. In this video, I'll show you how it's constructed as well as some additional considerations you can make to customize it even further. The idea here is super simple. Tablet holders have been widely available in a ton of different sizes for a while. So why not use them to our advantage to strap a second device to a Steam Deck? There have been a couple iterations of second screen attachments already floating around. However, they've often required some additional machine work, very specialized equipment, or hyper custom accessories to really function as a working solution. No shade on those solutions at all though. I actually really love them. And I'll even link a few of my favorites in the description in case you wanna see if you can make those work for you. I'm just a little more interested in something that anyone without specialized knowledge could construct with very little effort. Both because, you know, I'm a bit lazy in general and a less specialized solution is often a bit more accessible. In my opinion, at least. Hence, tablet holders for the rig and simple cabling to handle the signal to whatever screen you want to go with. Starting with the physical rig, I started with the tablet holder we used to hold up our Surface Pro 6 as a teleprompter during these videos for the Steam Deck portion. Any holder should work, to be honest. It just needs to have about a four inch width clearing and longer flat jaws to securely grip onto the Steam Deck's edges. Next, for the phone portion, I needed something small enough to accommodate my Fold 4 without using a spring-loaded mechanism, since I personally hate placing a ton of pressure on the phone around its hinge. A small iPad holder worked just fine for this case, with the one I bought having a screw-based mechanism to dial in the tightness. Finally, to merge the two holders together, I used a lightweight swiveling hinge from SmallRig combined with a double-sided screw. Generally, these tablet holders come with a port to attach them to stands using quarter-inch screws. It's incredibly convenient and allows for a ton of flexibility for expansion for other use cases. Attaching the double-sided screw to the hinge gives us a quarter-inch screw on each side and allows us to easily attach one holder to the other. From there, it's really as easy as just adding the two devices and making sure that it feels solid. I found that if I can hold up both devices at once, fully connected, and rotate them around, the fit is snug enough to use. During some earlier iterations, I had a less snug fit, which resulted in the Steam Deck slipping out of the rig. It's better to find out now that it's loose, rather than later on at a less opportune time. Since the width of this specific holder I'm using for the Steam Deck is just a tad bit too wide, I personally added a tiny bit of packing foam I had lying around with electric tape to make it fit snugly. Tape alone would honestly probably work well enough if wrapped with enough layers, but I like the idea of the foam adding just a bit more grip as it forms around the Steam Deck. With both devices attached snugly, we now need to actually connect them together to display a video signal. For that, we need to convert the Steam Deck's USB-C video out to a signal readable by the Fold 4. My method for this is three parts. A USB-C to HDMI adapter, a Genki Shadowcast capture card, and the shortest USB-C cable I could find on Amazon. Since the connection seemed kinda tight, 
while put all together. I also added an L-shaped adapter to make sure I wasn't putting any extra strain on either the cable or the USB-C port. Now, typically Android phones can't receive video signals unless they have a dedicated video in port. Genki's own arcade app would be a perfect solution, except they still haven't developed any Android integrations. Please, get on that, Genki. It works super well. But as a workaround for now, I stumbled upon a few Reddit threads which recommended a USB camera app that can receive capture card signals. It's honestly worked pretty great. I'd highly recommend checking it out. In general, if you're going this phone route, it'd be worthwhile to purchase whatever capture card you'd like to use and try out the connection before constructing everything else. That'll at least give you a fundamental idea of whether or not this setup will work for your devices. With everything connected properly, you should be able to view the phone as a secondary display. All that's left is to set up the Steam Deck end of things to make sure that the different emulators function as expected. If you're unsure how to do that, we posted a guide describing how to set up everything a few months ago. Feel free to check out that link, I'll leave it on the screen, and come back once you've gotten that out of the way. It's all pretty simple stuff, all things considered. Just DS and 3DS emulators tend to take some extra tweaking to their settings to get running properly. If you're already familiar with standard Citra, you can also check out the link to our Kofi shop in the video description for custom config files to properly format the layout of the second screen. All that extra tinkering will be worth it too. Considering how good the Steam Deck is at emulation, DS emulation feels nearly flawless with the dozen or so games I've tried. I could totally see this as an easy way for someone to replay something like Pokemon Black or Heart Gold. 3DS emulation tends to be as good as it is elsewhere, maybe slightly better than newer smartphones, and in general you'll want to take the gameplay with a grain of salt though. A ton of the games I've played are totally playable, but have had a few glitches to them. Meanwhile, Wii U emulation is still pretty solid. I've had a great time playing games like Wind Waker, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and Hyrule Warriors. Some games, like Breath of the Wild, are less than perfect without a ton of tinkering, but still more than playable. And with your rig connected and software set up, that's all there is. It's really that simple and can be packed away just as easily as undoing all the steps and connections. Some extra considerations to make while constructing your own setup though. A small 7 or 8 inch tablet might also work well as a second screen. Think Surface Go 2 or Galaxy Tab A7 Lite. At that point, weight could be an issue though. Even if the clamping pressure of the Steam Deck's holder is enough to actually mount a tablet, making it too top heavy could be a bit awkward to hold for a long period of time. For context, my Fold 4 is around 260 grams about 100 more grams than a standard Galaxy S22, and I can already kind of feel its weight while playing. Compared to the Fold 4, an A7 Lite is about 30% heavier, and a Surface Go 2 probably pushes the limit at about twice the weight of the Fold 4. So be aware that there may be some differences with comfort depending on what device you go with. If you already have a small tablet on hand though, it might be worth a shot just to try it out and see if it works for you. Worst case scenario, you at least didn't spend a ton of money on something that you can't use. Another option you could try if attaching a phone or tablet sounds like a terrible idea is a traditional field monitor. They tend to be relatively lightweight, though still heavier than my Fold 4, and allow for direct video in connections, and often mount with a standard quarter inch screw meaning you could replace your phone holder completely and just use the field monitor and reduce your cabling to a simple USB-C to HDMI connection. It's also guaranteed to be less finicky than using an Android workaround. The downsides are that it's going to be more top heavy, slightly more expensive, and might not be something you're already carrying around with you anyway, unless you spend a lot of time with cameras. I could totally see that being worthwhile for some folks though, and especially if you're really dedicated to making this dual screen form factor work, 
it could be right up your alley. I just recommend looking for a monitor with an integrated battery. The beauty of using a phone or tablet is that they already contain reasonably large batteries that will last about as long as the Steam Deck on a single charge. If you need to power your monitor through an external battery, that's one additional thing you'll either need to mount or have tethered, which might not be the most comfortable experience. But still, it's really whatever works best for you. I really like being able to use my Fold 4 since it's something I almost always have on me, and it's about the right size to pair with the Steam Deck. Other devices could still be pretty great for different use cases though, especially if you have a large phone with the right aspect ratio for Wii U games. In general, just try whatever you have on hand first, see if it works, and then go from there. What do y'all think though? Do you have any use for a second screen on your Steam Deck? Are you going to give this entire setup a shot? Do you know of a different solution which might be interesting for me to check out in the future? Let me know down in the comments. Also, links to my setup materials will all be in the video description. Definitely check it out if you're considering building a rig of your own. Also, also, if you found this video helpful or informative, give it a like to let me know and click subscribe to not miss out on future mobile tech videos. If you're looking for more dual screen content, consider looking back at our Surface Duo 2 review. I still use that phone daily and it's fantastic and probably due for another follow-up video, to be honest. But that's all for this video. Until next time, catch you later.